The long two and a half month transition from one president to the next can be a turbulent time where one administration leaves while the other one enters. The current transition of power from the current president to the president-elect is a time of confusion and uncertainty. On one hand, you want to laugh at a president who hysterically can't accept defeat, and on the other hand, you live with fear that riots might erupt due to an already divided country. In contrast, Islam has a unique leadership structure. It is not a republic or a monarchy. To start off, there are a number of principles regarding rulership in Islam. Number one, siyada or sovereignty belongs only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can legislate. Number two, authority belongs to the ummah. The ummah has the right to choose their ruler willingly without any enforcement. Number three, there must be only one ruler who is the khalifa. And number four, the ruler is the only one who has the right to adopt from the Qur'an and the Sunnah to take care of the people using his own ijtihad or the ijtihad of a mujtahid. Muslim narrated on the authority of Abi Hazim who said, I accompanied Abu Huraira for five years and I heard him talk of the Prophet wasallam saying, Banu Israel used to be governed by a Prophet. Every time a Prophet died, another came after him. And there is no Prophet after me. There will be Khulafa. And they will number many. They said, what would you order us to do? He وسلم, said, fulfill the bayah to them one after the other. I give them their due right. Surely Allah will account them for that which he entrusted them with. After the death of Rasulullah وسلم, there needed to be a successor to lead the ummah. Leadership was not something to be delayed. And in just three days after the death of the Prophet وسلم, Abu Bakr عنه, was nominated by the Sahaba and given bayah by the Muslims. This shows us that the nomination to pick Abu Bakr عنه, was even before bearing the Prophet وسلم, proving how important a leader is for the Muslims. During the succession of the Khulifa Rashidun or the rightly guided Khulifa, the importance of appointing a Khalifa to lead the Ummah proved to be vital. When Abu Bakr عنه, fell ill, he consulted the Muslims on who they wanted to be the next Khalifa. Umar anhu was nominated by Abu Bakr anhu to be the next Khalifa and after his death, the Muslims pledged their allegiance or gave bayah to Umar anhu. When Umar anhu was on his deathbed, he was asked by the Sahaba to nominate a successor, but he refused. But after they continued to insist, he nominated six Sahaba. They were given three days to appoint the next Khalifa. Umar said to Sahib, if five of the six agreed and accepted one man, while one of the six men rejected him, then strike his head with the sword. Umar then appointed Abu Talha al-Ansari to protect the gathering with 50 men and he charged al-Miqtad ibn al-Aswad with the duty of choosing the meeting place for the six candidates. After his death, the nominee settled into their meeting. Abdurrahman ibn Auf then asked the six who would take himself out of it and give it to the best among you. No one answered him. So he went on saying, I myself renounce my right to the Khalifa. Then he started to consult them one by one. He would ask them, apart from yourself, who do you think is worthy of this authority from among this group? Their answer was confined to two, Ali and Uthman radiallahu anhum. Then Abdurrahman sought the opinion of the Muslims regarding the two people in which they would elect a Khalifa. He asked the men and the women when investigating the opinion of the people. He radiallahu anhu worked day and night during the period of electing the Khalifa. Al-Bukhari reported from Al-Miswar ibn Makrama that said, Abdul Rahman knocked at my door after a part of the night passed till I woke up. He said, I see you have been sleeping. But Allah, I did not enjoy much sleep in these three, meaning the three nights. After the people had prayed the Fajr, the bayah was concluded to Uthman and he became the Khalifa by the bayah of the Muslims and not due to the nomination of the six people by Umar. When Uthman anhu was murdered, the Muslim masses of Al-Madinah and Al-Kufa gave the bayah to Ali bin Abi Talib, so he became the Khalifa by the bayah of the Muslims. Upon close examination regarding the method of their bayah, it is clear that the nominees to the Khalifa were announced to the people and each one of them fulfilled the contractual conditions. Then the opinion of the influential people among the Muslims who represent the Ummah was sought. The representatives of the Ummah were known at the time of the Khulifa Rashidun, for they were the Sahaba anhum, or the people of Al-Madinah, 
whoever was accepted by the Sahaba or their majority was given the contracting bayah and he became the Khalifa and the obedience to him became incumbent upon the Muslims. Muslims would then give him the bayah of obedience and the Khalifa would become the representative of the Ummah in ruling and in authority. This is understood from the bayah given to the Khulifa al-Rashidun. The Khulifa al-Rashidun emphasized the unity of the Ummah and followed strict protocols to ensure that a leader would be chosen quickly to defend the Ummah and that the Ummah would follow him as long as he followed the Qur'an and the Sunnah. This is due to what Muslim narrated on the authority of Abdullah bin Amr bin Al-As who reported that he heard the Messenger of Allah وسلم, say whoever pledged allegiance to an Imam giving him the clasp of his hand and the fruit of his heart he should obey him as much as he can and if another comes to dispute with him you must strike the neck of the latter. It was narrated by Abu Huraira may Allah be pleased with him that the Prophet وسلم, said the Imam is a shield behind whom you fight and you protect yourself with. So if he orders by piety and is just, then he receives reward for that. And if he orders by other than that, then it is against him. The imam or the leader of the ummah is currently missing today. We see the grave importance Islam gives for having a just ruler through the Quran, the hadith, and the actions of the Khulifa Rashidun. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hasten the protection of the ummah under a just imam and allow the ummah to stand behind him. I mean...